We got this new holster to review. Got Trijicon HD XRs to review. Got this slide to review, but we're not reviewing any of that. No. What we're reviewing today is this beauty right here, this barrel. Big announcement. I actually have Tactical Toolbox t-shirts coming. I haven't even received mine yet. It's on its way. I just announced it last night on Instagram, Facebook, and the Patreon page. I, I don't remember how many sold, um, but basically, first 50 people are gonna get them for like 15 or 20% off, something like that. I'll put a link below where you guys can pick up the t-shirts. I do get a tiny percentage of the sale, but there'll be different options, color options, things like that, that you guys can choose from. This is from Insane Kydex Creations. Same people that made this holster right here. And you're probably wondering like, what the heck is a holster company doing making barrels? I was wondering the same thing. So like recently on Instagram, tons and tons of new products have been popping up left and right, especially for Glocks. You know, there's a lot of new barrel companies coming out. The accessories market is exploding. So that's a good thing. Got in touch with George, super nice guy. Um, we spoke via email and I told him, I was like, look, man, I would love to review your barrel. You know, you guys always love the barrels and I have been really freaking surprised by this. You know, usually whenever I go to the range and I'm shooting, boom, 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 had to go to the indoor range. I can't shoot outdoors until summer's over. There's high fire hazards in Arizona right now. So you guys are just gonna have to look at indoor footage. Sorry, but Went to the range, tested this with 115 grain ammunition, uh, round nose, federal champions. And I tested it at two different distances, 25 feet and 45 feet. Didn't really take it out beyond that because honestly, you know, I'm not really that interested in how far out it's accurate, but the dang thing is pretty darn consistent. Now, usually when I'm at the indoor range, especially when I first start shooting, you know, I always pull one of my shots, you know, left a little bit um, or down a little bit. And then as I start riding that reset, you know, I start getting more accurate. Well, this guy was a lot like my blacklist in that it was dead nuts accurate from the first shot. See, some of these barrels, they have like a break in period sometimes. And sometimes you got to shoot a couple hundred rounds through them before you even see any difference in them. And this guy has been awesome. So we're gonna dive up, look at this. We're gonna talk about it a little bit, talk about the price and talk about, you know, is this something you really need? You know, inherently, you know, aftermarket barrels, majority of us aren't gonna see the benefits from it. I'm just gonna be straight up with you, you know, as opposed to the OEM block barrels, you know. The only thing is, is like for defensive distances, you know, your groups aren't that, that important. You know, you, you train to shoot center of mass, and as long as you're accurate, you're going to hit. You know what I mean? Now, some people, they, you know, are more meticulous with their accuracy. Um, some people are more meticulous with the speed, you know, if they're competitive shooters. So I'm just going to say this, like, I wouldn't buy a new barrel to be more accurate. I wouldn't. You know, honestly, you just need to go out and practice. That's the main thing. But like I said, been really impressed with this. And we're going to dive up close, take a look at it and, you know, see what you guys think about it. Also going to have a coupon code for you, so that'll be in the link down in the description below. Not affiliated with it, they were just cool enough to hook you guys up. So let's dive up close. So I bought a new rifle. Check it out. Nah, I'm just playing. This is the case that the barrel comes in. Not that it makes the barrel any better, but it's kind of cool. I like it. So let's open this pig up. I got the compensator here and everything just to show you how it fits onto the barrel. So here it is. In all its glory. You can get this in three colors. I think it's an aluminum nitride, which is essentially black, stainless, and then titanium nitride. Get it out of here, throw that to the side. So this is a drop-in barrel for all Glocks. Uh, he mainly carries the Glock 19, Glock 17, and Glock 43 barrels. So if you're in the market for anything like that, he's got them in stock. So you can only get the threaded version. He doesn't sell non-threaded barrels, which for me kind of works because I would, if I'm going to go out and spend money on an aftermarket barrel, I want it to have the additional utility of having a thread. Um, he also has a bunch of different thread protectors on his site, but I believe the one that comes with, I think it's this one and the other ones are just available, but I like it because it's very similar 
to the, it looks like a nut and bolt. Very similar to the Agency Arms barrel on their thread lock, thread protector. But yeah, this is the Insane Kydex barrel. Now this barrel right now has 200 rounds through it. Now, if you guys saw my review in, I believe it was January or February, the S3F Solutions barrel, you'll remember that it wasn't even a couple hundred rounds in and I was already getting all this wear right here on the lug. I was already getting wear in the lugs here. You can see all that. This one has held up like a champ. Put 200 rounds through it. Uh, shot it at 25 feet and 45 feet. I'll show you the groups here in a second on the paper target. Works great though. It's 1 in 10 twist, 416R stainless steel, half by 28 threading. So it's going to fit all your standard accessories for that. So not too shabby. I do like it. So let me show you. Let me drop it in here. Now these start at I believe $170 for the stainless model. Then if you get a coated model, it's an additional $50 for that. Not too bad. But the cool thing, like I said, these are in stock. The others aren't. So there it is in all its glory. Put the thread protector on for you. It also has a rubber O-ring that goes on it. But I took it off because I was, I'm gonna show you what it looks like with the TBRC installed. There you have it. Looks good. I like it. Now gold might not be everybody's color, which is why you can get it in black or stainless. Usually I'm not a big fan of the way, you know, when people put big logos on it, but this works. I find that it just works nicely. Very nice. As you can see, you know, they're not really worried about getting all the fluting and stuff into the barrel, which is cool with me. You know, they look nice, but hey, if it doesn't affect anything, why bother with it? So let's try out the... Now let me show you one thing I do like about this a little bit more than my favorite blacklist is this. Now I beat the shit out of this blacklist barrel, so... I like the fact that it's a tiny bit shorter, which means when I put the compensator on, it fits more fleshly, which I like that. Let me show you what I mean. So here it is with the TBRC compensator on it. And if you saw that review, um, you'll remember that with my blacklist barrel, there was a little bit of a, a gap between the slide and the uh, compensator, more so than there is here. Now there's a tiny gap, but I love how flush fitting it is. Now, he also sent me this appendix holster that he has. Now I'm not reviewing this right now, I'll do a review on this in a separate video. It's a Glock 17 holster, but it's cool because it fits this. Now, if you wanted to, to cover it completely, you need to get a Glock 34 holster, but not too bad. Um, so he makes the holsters and then he has the, the barrels made with his logo on it. Really awesome little guy right here. Been a huge fan. But like I said, let's look at the target so I can show you the groupings. Okay, so when I went to the range yesterday, you know, I just used this gun right here. I tested it at 25 feet and 45 feet. So if you look on the left here is my group. And I think this was a 10 shot group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. 10 shot group at 25 feet. Had one little flyer. And then at 45 feet, another 10 shot group. Although they were more dispersed inside the black, only one actually left the black. Decent consistency. I love that. Because sometimes when I shoot a group close with one barrel and then reach out, I'll get totally different results. So it's really good to see that, you know, 25 feet, I mean, honestly, defensive distances are less than, you know, 20 feet or less typically. Took it a little bit past that, shot like a charm. I mean, you see I shoot out a little bit of a hole there. And then at 45 feet, you know, it might not be the barrel, it might be me. I shot these free-handed. I was using 115 grain Federal Champion ammo. 
I didn't shoot these from a rest because I'm not interested in doing a rest test because that's not practical in a self-defense situation. Now, let's compare that to my agency arms. Same thing here, you know, 10 group, um, 10 round group, 10 round group, 25 feet, 45 feet. Now, at 25 feet, you know, I got like a really tight little group here and I had like three of them hit here, but none of them outside of the white. But then when I took it out to 45 feet, I barely even hit the X and I had one, two, three of them hit the white. So that's just a little comparison. That might not be representative of the barrels. That could be totally representative of my inaccuracies. But overall, definitely dig this. Pretty cool little guy right here. So let's dive up top. I'll give you guys some final thoughts. We'll talk about the coupon code. Then we're gonna wrap this review up. Back up top, looking at this barrel, it doesn't look a whole lot different. It's actually one of the more affordable barrels. They're in stock, which is nice because, you know, like with S3F, and you know, don't get me wrong, I love my blacklist. I love it. Good luck finding them in stock. This guy's got them. And if you don't care about getting barrel fluting or having like those cool engravings on the chamber of the gun, then this is the barrel for you. Like I said earlier, you can only get them in the threaded version, which for me, it kind of works out because I wouldn't go spend money on a non-threaded aftermarket barrel. That's just my opinion. You know, I mean, I do have the S3F Solutions one. Um, but if I'm going to spend money on something, I want it to have a, an extra utility to it that the OEM barrel doesn't have. So you can run compensators or suppressors, whatever it is you're into. Definitely dig this. I haven't had any issues with it right yet. You know, if I do, I'll, I'll update you guys. But that's just been my range time experience with it. It rocks. And the wear on it seems to outlast the others. So I don't know who's making this barrel. I did ask him. He can't tell me because of non-disclosure agreements. Did ask him who was making it. I don't know. But I'll tell you this. Whoever is making it is doing a damn good job. And I'm very excited about it. So you can get this, like I said, you know, a few different colors. You can get stainless, which is the cheapest option. And then the coatings are like 50 bucks more. Um, this titanium nitride is a lot different than the others I've tried. It has a different feel to the to your fingers, you know, when you're rubbing it. It feels different. It seems like it's been laid on a little bit thicker and thus resulting in, you know, less wear than others. Guys, let me know what you guys think below. I mean, do you think that you shouldn't buy an aftermarket barrel? And if you're gonna run compensators or suppressors, which threaded barrel do you guys typically prefer? For those applications right now like i said boom i like it it's sexy it works it's an option for you you know let me know what you think down in the comments below we'll have some good discussions like we always do and uh you know you guys know me i'll try my best to reply to all of you guys put a link below where you guys can pick these up also tactical toolbox t-shirts are now available i'm waiting on mine to arrive as we speak link will be in the description where you can pick those up um, there that's being handled by pacific northwest tactical so thank you maurice for handling that for me but until next time guys i love you you guys be safe and stay sexy